In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where your PC is on, but there's no signal to the monitor. So if you're seeing a no signal error message or your monitor screen is just black, I'm going to show you a couple of ways to go and fix this issue. Now, the first thing we need to do is just come around to the back of your computer and you need to ensure that your display cable is going to the correct port. So typically, you want to make sure that your display cable that runs from your monitor to your computer, you need to make sure that this is being plugged into the dedicated graphics card port on your computer. So whether you have a HDMI cable or a display port, make sure this is being plugged into the GPU and not the motherboard. Now, if it's still not working, you can try using a different port on your computer as well. Sometimes you'll have multiple ports, so you can try using a different one. And you can also try using a different port on your monitor as well. It could just be the case that one of the ports is faulty, and that's the reason why you're getting this black screen. Now, obviously, you can try swapping out the cable too. So if you're currently using a HDMI cable, you can try using a DisplayPort cable. And if you're already using a DisplayPort cable, you can try using a HDMI. Now, if none of these solutions work, what you need to do is go and disconnect everything from the back of your computer. So we're going to unplug the power cable and remove any external devices. Make sure everything is completely unplugged. Now, once you've done this, you just need to tilt your desktop computer onto its side and we need to go and gain access to the RAM inside of our computer. Now, usually there'll be a sliding glass door that you can just go and slide in order to gain access to your components. You may also have a couple of screws that you need to go and remove in order to gain access to this section. Now, what we need to do is go and locate the RAM slots. Now, this is usually quite easy to find as there will typically be two RAM cards side by side like this. So this is the RAM that's on my computer. And what you need to do is just go and remove the RAM cards. And you can do that just by pressing down the clips either side of the RAM. You may need to do both of them at the same time. Now, I can't really do this right now as I'm holding my camera, but you can just go and press down these buttons in order to remove your RAM card. Now, make sure to be quite gentle with this. And once it's been removed, we then need to go and clean the bottom of the RAM. So it could be the case that dust or debris is kind of built up around the RAM slots. And that's the reason why you're getting this no signal error. So you can use something like a brush or a cloth just to go and clean the bottom of the RAM card. And then you can try reinserting that back into your computer and you can check to see if it solves the issue. Now, if that's not working, another thing you can try doing is clearing the CMOS on your motherboard. Now, how you do this depends on your model of computer, but typically there'll be a button on the back of your motherboard and you can go and press that in order to clear the CMOS. Now, once you've tried both of these steps, you can then go in, reconnect everything to your computer. You can try turning it on and checking if the signal is now working. Now, if your screen's still not turning on, the final thing we can do is go in, refresh the GPU cache. Now, you can do this just with a simple key combination on your computer. So once your computer's turned on, just go and press the following keys on your keyboard. You need to press the Windows key, the Control key, and the Shift key all at the same time. And whilst you're holding these buttons, also press down the letter B on your keyboard. And once you've done that, the screen should flicker black, and then it should go and turn on and work as normal. So that's how to fix the no signal or black screen issue. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.